needs more needs more Uranuses. Oh no, I destroyed it. Hello guys. Today we are playing a game called Universe Sandbox. Now this game the uni your the universe is a sandbox. Like literally. Come on, tab. There we go. Like this is the you, yeah, hopefully you know what I mean by now. But yeah, this is the universe and it's a sandbox. I don't know what else to say. But that's the point of the game. You just play around. Today we're gonna make a star. But not how you would think we're gonna make a star. We're gonna start with the like smallest thing in the game. We're gonna start with an asteroid. <laughs> we're gonna start with 2016 HO3, which is a near Earth object. And now we're gonna make this thing collapse with uh, um hello get big what is this <laughs> come on why can't you do something get big make big okay apparently that's not gonna work we're gonna try with a, a bigger asteroid serious it's an epic dance wait i have to no get get back here come on serious no, I don't want a fragment. I want series. Come on. I want series itself. There we go. This is going to be our star. Soon. So now we're going to start slamming stuff into it. Like another series. And by another series, I mean a few more series series. Nice. What about the star? HR 4039B. That's massive. Okay. So we're going to try to make this thing into a star. And now let's... I'm not exactly sure what it's doing, but pretty soon we're going to find out. Okay, so now we're going to slam Sedna into it. It's a bigger asteroid. I'm sorry, it's not an asteroid. It's a minor planet. I'm sorry, it's a planet. Whatever. So as we slowly make series bigger, it looks like it's a star, but it's not. So I started hitting it with slightly bigger things. See if it's big enough to feed a mercury to it. No, it isn't. About a random moon. Oh, okay, there's Mona. I don't know if that's an actual moon, but I actually just... Yeah! Get em. Big, baby! There we go. And now I have a really big thing. The thing is called Ceres, which was an asteroid, and now it's bigger to con and now it's big enough to consume Mercury. Keep consuming, keep consuming. Now it's big enough... Nah, almost. To consume... Ah, uh, what is that? Was that... Okay. Random X, that's massive. Random gas giant. Can it swallow the moon? I don't know why I asked that. It's pretty easy to swallow the moon. So just turn blue. What about Ganymede? Oh, no. What about... What about Caro? Nope. Caro 7B. What about, Caro, uh, about Kepler? No. Gliss? No, Gliss is massive. What about Pluto? What about Mars? Yeah, I can swallow Mars. Make it bigger. Alright, can it swallow Venus now? Yes, it can! And now it just got like three times bigger. Can it swallow Earth now? Yeah, I can swallow Earth whole. Because Earth is bigger than Venus. Can it swallow Neptune now? No, but it's getting close. Now can it swallow Caro? Yes, it can swallow Caro 7B. You can just see all the trails of stuff we've, we've thrown at it. I still see a few sadness back there. 
Yeah, mind you, none of these have swallowed this thing. This is still series. The same series that we threw two together made it pretty big, and now we're still throwing stuff at it. Can we... What about Kepler 10B? Oh, yeah. Kepler 62E. Eh, that's... Don't do this. 62F. Eh, why not? 69C. Sure. What about Plant 9? Oh, yeah. Throw a few of those in there. And by a few, I mean like 80 of them. Now can we do Neptune? I think. This is still... See and it's a gas giant now. It has five Earth radii. And the mass of seven-tenths of a Jupiter. Also, man, this thing is big. Okay, so Ceres now has one, one Jupiter mass. And also, oh no, Neptune's orbiting it. Uh, that's not good, I don't think. Which one of those is Neptune? That's Nep... Is Ceres gone now? Oh, no, that was... The bigger one was Ceres. Okay. Can, can it swallow Uranus now? Yep. Can it swallow Saturn now? <sniffs> Almost. What about... What about Gliss? Oh. Easy. What about Pegasus? Nope. Can't do 51 Pegasi B. What about that aforementioned star, HR? Oh, easy. That's actually too, whatever. Okay, so those are moons. Those are planets. Oh, what about, can we, do, can, we can we give it rings? We can give it quote, we can give we can add, add Quower's rings. We can add Quower's ring to, what about Halmea's rings? We all have a good egg planet, don't we? <laughs> what about Saturn's rings? Head ring to series. I don't see any, so I think it's time to start throwing more stuff at it. Like, maybe we should start throwing Saturn at it. No, needs more, needs more Uranuses. Oh no, I destroyed it. Okay, that's not good. Whatever. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, well, that's not good. Okay, so we may or may not have just made it. We may or may not have just killed Ceres, but by trying to throw something at it, but whatever. Ha <laughs> Bertilia. Poser Max. Malave. Oh snack. Oh nask. Whatever. Blank planet. Oh. There's some blank pl blank planets on it. It it eats them for breakfast. We're gonna give it uh Saturn drinks. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just gave it rings. Wow. That's cool. It's the radius of seven Earths and the mass of nearly two Jupiters. We're going to give it some of Hamea's rings. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Wow. Okay. Oh no. We're just hitting it. I think they're just, it's just big clouds. Oh, Jupiter's rings. Jupiter doesn't have very many rings. Okay, whatever. Let's start throwing more things at it. Uh, hmm. Haumea? Yeah, we'll make Haumea orbit it. Maybe we shouldn't have. It's starting to cool now, and it's a very deep blue color. Uh, let's try and <laughs> throw Stevenson 2-18 at it. I'm just joking. Who would do that? What about the sun? What about... Proxima Centauri. We can almost throw Proxima Centauri at it and actually make it a star. Okay. Some more Neptunes at it. And disrupt its rings. Let's give it rings when we're done. We'll give it rings as a star. And wow, some of its rings actually stayed. So Neptune just collided with it. 
Come on, ring, stay. Oh, no, they're just colliding with it. No, they're kind of staying here. Just in a very elliptic orbit, which I find weird, but whatever. Give it more Neptunes. Okay, I guess it's still getting bigger. It has a radius of nearly seven Earths and a mass of nearly three Jupiters. Now it is three Jupiters. Okay. Can we feed Saturn to it now? Oh, it's getting so close. Um, now can we uh, feed Proxima Centauri to it? No. Barnard Star? Fomalhaut? Oh, I didn't even know that star existed. PSR? That's a tiny star! Oh, Polaris. Oh, dang it, that's a big star. Procreon? Deneb. My goodness. Why did I not know these things existed? Whatever, let's feed it the Milky Way. Is that the, oh, it's Sagittarius A. Whatever, we're not feeding the Milky Way to it. Let's, I don't know what to throw at it. There's just more Neptunes and Uranuses. Let's keep giving it itself. There we go, it's at 6.45 Earths. 6.5 Earths. 6.7 Earths. Come on. Get big, seven Earths. Oh, but then it starts losing radii. Okay, so I just need to do it really quick. I don't want to give it... I'm going to give it some glisses. I don't want to give it, give Saturn to it, because then Saturn's just going to... And... Yep, there it is, but whatever. Now I can feed Jupiter's to... Saturn has a radius of now nearly three Jupiters. It's almost a star. Okay, so I saw somewhere that if something if Jupiter was eighty times more massive, it would be a star. This is nearly fifty Jupiters in mass and nearly five in radius. I think we can feed Proxima Centauri to it. We can make it a star. I turned Saturn into a star. Oh, I just ran a supernova. Saturn's a star. It has a radius of the sun. Mass slowly increasing. Surface temperature that's cooling down rapidly. It's currently at, like, 500,000 degrees. Um... I want inverted gravity. Quite actually, no, it's not really that luminous. Uh, it's not very dense, actually. Okay. Wow, it's so tiny. But that's about how far Mercury orbits from the sun. Just collide it because I don't know why not. Can we throw Alpha Centauri A at it? What about B? I can. Oh, I just blew it up. What's the radius of the supernova? Wow, not even 60 AU. <laughs> Alright, the last thing I want to do here in Universe Sandbox is I want to make my own solar system. So we're gonna add a random known star. Nah, cooler name. Cooler name. Cooler name. Cooler name. Cooler name. I want a long name. Not well, seventy A, that's not bad. Kepler fifteen ninety. HR six two three two. Forty four seventy five. Come on, give me a okay, two more. 2210, Okay, one more, I promise. Kepler 298, that's what we're going with. So we're going to add some, I don't know, rock particles, because I don't know why not. Give it a little ring. And then now we're going to give 
it. Charon. Pluto's moon. Give it a Dione. I have no idea whose moon that is. I'm guessing it's Uranus. Or either Uranus or Neptune. Uh, we're gonna get it a star that... No, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna give it... Uh, what about Alpha Centauri? No, that's massive. I'm gonna give Planet 9 to orbit around it. I wonder... 0.1 AU? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, it's quite small, so I'm gonna try and give it... Rhea at 0.5 AU. Now we're gonna make something insanely stupid. Like, I don't know, Sedna stupid. Like, we're gonna give something, uh, we're gonna give it, <laughs> we're gonna give it to, uh, hmm, I don't know. I want a cool naming exoplanet. That's 4B, Kepler 297B, Kepler 1543B, 399B, YZ7B, 1, 2, 3, 1444C. Now we're going to make it out outrageously eccentric. So right now, it's an orbital period of about 600 years and a rotational period of 22 days. Inclination of nothing and eccentricity of less than 0.01. I'm gonna go times 10. Da, da, da. Times 2. Times 2. That's good. Gonna increase it in, 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 in. That's good. 0.898. Now has a, per a perihelion of 6.363. Nope. There we go. Just made it much more eccentric. It has an. Aphelion of 1200 AU and a perihelion of 8 AU. Inclination of do, 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 27 degrees. And now we're just going to go, I don't know, a few years per second to see how it goes. Oh, it only goes two years a second? Dang it. Hold on. Add that there. I meant add that there. Oh, well, three of the things just got ejected. What is it? Oh, it's just Rhea now that's orbiting. Oh, it's a gas giant? I'm going to change that. Silicate? But we don't want any hydrogen. It's not a gas giant. We're just gonna make it an. We're just gonna make it an asteroid. Radius. Two Earths. No. A hundred ninety. Mm. It's a dwarf planet now. Great. Uh, seven hundred sixty kilometers and a mass of one point four. Three times ten to the twenty-one kilograms. Let's see what our beautiful dwarf planet we have created. It is T O I four four one four 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 C. Woo hoo! And with that, we'll zoom back to Kepler two nine eight, our beautiful star with Rhea orbiting around it. Because I don't know, that's not what I said. With Rhea orbiting around it. Because why not? How long does it take? Oh, it's that's it's a fragment. Ray is a dwarf planet. Okay. Uh, it orbits every four and a half months and rotates every four days. Yay! I guess. Well, this is Skylines Nerd, which has lately not been doing very many Skylines, and I will see you later.